He's countercultural. All right. Okay. I think we're recording now, so that's good. All right. We are going to talk about um, interest today. Um, we're also going to talk about how we can kind of rearrange our formula to um, be prearranged for us when we need to find initial value. Um, so using this formula right here, oh, that looks nice. Using our formula, oh boy. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to do this. Using our formula y equals a times b to the exponent x, I would like you guys to take just a quick second here. And I want you to think about how we can rearrange this formula to be pre-rearranged for us that when a question is asking for initial value, we already have it ready. So, Sam? A equals y times bx. Mm, not times. Divided by, yeah. So if I wanted to rearrange re this, I'd be dividing out my b to the x, and then I would have initial value pre-rearranged. So when you get a test or a quiz, it would be maybe just a nice quick thing that you could do to rearrange our future value formula in terms of initial value. And then if you have any of those questions, you can just sub right away into this formula. So this would be a formula that is already done for us where we can find initial value without having to arrange or uh, isolate for anything, right? Okay, eventually we're going to work on um, how we can solve for any of these variables. So today we're working on solving for initial value. We've worked quite a bit in the past two days solving for future value. We've also learned how to solve for total time in X using log. Wow. Okay, all right. So let's build off of what we uh, learned the past two days. So you're going to ship some, yeah, Luca? Okay, uh, you're going to ship some, are we ready in the back there, gentlemen? You're going to ship some uranium-239, which has a half-life, I'm going to underline that, half-life of two years. There must be 500 grams upon arrival. If shipping will take four months, how much should you package initially? So when I see this word initially, I'm thinking, oh, A is my unknown. That's what I need to know. Um, Half-life, what does this tell us? We learned about this yesterday. Sam? The amount of time uh, it takes to, uh, for half of it to be on. OK. So if it has a half-life of two years, that's telling me about my half-life period. It's telling me that it takes two years for a half-life to occur. How much time are we looking at in the scope of this question? How much time is passing? Two years. Four months. So half-life takes two years, but we're focusing on the time period of four months. So automatically, we should see a problem going on here. We have months and years. We're going to have to work on that in a second. Um, half-life, what does that tell me about my B value? How do you get the half-life of two years? So remember, we talked about how elements decay, and they become less and less. That kind of idea. Oh, okay. Well, watch, watch the lesson from yesterday, and you'll understand. But half life, shh, half life is talking about the time it takes for a substance, the amount of a substance to be cut in half, or half of its value. Okay. So that's actually our decay factor. That's our how quickly our substance is decaying. It's being halved every time. So in four years, it'd be gone. No, in Every two years, it gets cut in half. So if I have 500, two years later, it's going to be 250. And then two years after that, it will be 125, and so on. OK? Yeah. okay. What is my future value? Uh, no. How much must there be upon arrival? 500 grams. 500 grams. OK. OK, so for our x value here, my suggestion would be that maybe we turn everything in terms of months here. So we say four months. How many uh, months in two years? 24. OK. That's OK. 24 months. That is key. We want to make sure that those are in the same unit of measurement. So that gives us 1 sixth for x. OK. We're going to plug into our pre-rearranged formula that we just did yesterday. Paige, do you want to just like turn around to the back there just so that you're not distracted by anything? 
You don't have to, I'm just, just a suggestion. We're going to plug into our pre-rearranged formula that we just talked about. So we're going to be doing 500 over 1 half to the exponent 1 sixth. Okay? Your challenge is to see if you can enter this all into your calculator. Okay, if you're having any troubles entering into your calculator, you can calculate the bottom first and then do 500 divided by answer in your calculator. So that might be helpful. But see if you can do that. We want to try as much as we can to avoid using decimals until our final answer. Luca? Why did you put 24 months instead of just like two years? Because I need my units of measurement as far as like total time and time for the half-life to be in the same unit. Yeah. Okay, so I can't have months and years. I need months and months or years and years. Okay, so let's see if we can get this into our calculator properly. Again, you could do it piece by piece if you want. Do you have a question regarding the test? Um, well, I just made a mistake and I already Sure. So what did you guys get? Okay, okay, so one half, let me just double check here. Did everybody else get that? No. Yeah, I got 561.23. Okay, please make sure that you can get this, and this was in grams. Make sure that you can get this in your own calculator. Okay, and then we will just finish this off, therefore... Uh, we must package. Ms. Rakelos, yep. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if I get like 561.79? Is that wrong? No. That's wrong? That's a little too far off for me. Oh, that's too off? Yeah. It's probably because you did some rounding, I think, along the way. Yeah? No, I didn't do rounding. I just did some numbers. Uh, <laughs> we want to leave the numbers in. So you did round it, right? No, it yes, went, it yeah. put point eight nine zero eight nine eight seven one eight. I just did eighty nine. So if you enter this into your calculator altogether, you don't have to worry about any of the rounding issues, right? You get the exact right answer. I'm not getting it right. Okay. If you're not getting it right, do me a favor and do this. You're gonna enter into your calculator zero point five or one half, right? Enter this into your calculator to the exponent 1 divided by 6. Press equals and then do 500 divided by answer. Okay? If you still can't get it, I'll be, I'll be around a little bit later and we can talk about how your calculator works. Okay? All right. So... Our class has been hired by a surgeon to grow a skin graft. It takes three days for the amount of skin to double. All right, so here I've got something to do with time. Did not mean to highlight that, but three days for the amount of skin to double. Ooh, doubling. Sounds important. Uh, we need two kilograms of skin in one week. Okay, so I have another piece of information. Two kilograms in. Oh, there's something to do with time. One week. How much should we start with? Okay, the word start, that is the initial value. That is my question. How much should we start with? Okay, can someone tell me all the things that I just underlined here? How do these fit into my equation? What variables are they representing? Alex? So I think B would be doubling, so B would be two. Great, we are doubling, so B is two. So our X would be, it would take three days to double, and then three to double, so it would be three, three over two. So what's the total time period that we're looking at in this question? Uh, one week. So one uh, week. So that would be seven days. Okay. So it's seven days, and over, three days three. over the doubling period. Good. What else? We have one thing missing. Um, Why is two kilograms? That's our future amount that we need. Okay, so let's plug into our pre... We did. This is the B is from doubling. Oh, oops, I'm sorry. I can work with 
and this is the two kilograms that we need in the future. Okay, let's plug this into our pre-arranged formula. So we've got 2 over 2 to the exponent 7 over 3. Okay, if you need to, calculate 2 to the exponent 7 over 3 and then do 2 divided by answer in your calculator if you don't want to do it all together. What did you get, Karen? Oh, sorry. Did you get the same thing, Karen? So it's like this. So it's about 0 0.397? 397 kilograms. I think because it's so little, we want to be a little bit more precise with this starting value, right? So I would say probably around three decimals. Okay, usually I'll have you round to either two or three, okay? So therefore, we should start with 0 0.397 kilograms of skin in order to have two kilograms in one week. Carlo. So when you're uh, for the formula I see why yeah, why over P to the power of X. Um, that's like when you're trying to find the A value. Yep. That's the when one, you're trying to find initial value. Find X and y, and this one is specifically for A. Yep, this one's pre-rearranged. But you can always like if you forget this, you can always just use the regular formula. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.